Welcome to Health Channel 101. And today, we are going to teach you how to treat diabetic emergencies. Enjoy! How to treat diabetic emergencies in just seven steps. Now, before I give you guys the steps on how to treat diabetic emergencies, let me give you a little background of what it is. So, diabetic emergencies are extremely serious, results in low sugar levels, as known as hypoglycemia, can also result in high sugar levels, which is called hyperglycemia. And if this situation is not treated immediately, the victim will have a high chance of dying. So, just follow the steps in the video and I think you have a pretty good idea of what it is. Step 1. Ask the victim about how they feel. Are you okay? I have a headache. Some signs of diabetic emergencies are shakiness, sleepiness, headaches, seizures, lack of coordination, or weakness. Step 2. Make sure the environment is safe. Uh, if you or family member or friend with diabetes, hypoglycemia, or hyperglycemia begins to have any of those symptoms, be really careful because those symptoms could harm you. Make sure that doesn't happen. Also, it's not going to be explained in the video, so I can't really explain more than that. Step 3. Um, test your blood glucose levels. Um, you can use a blood glucose meter or a lancet to check your blood levels. Um, a lancet is usually um, like a little pen which you inject in your finger and it determines how much blood sugar you have. Um, a reading of 70 milligrams or lower means you really need to take quick action. Um, if you really need to take quick action, uh, just move on to step 4 which is what I will explain later. Can I check your blood pressure? Do you have a pen? Yeah. Can you give me a finger? It says your blood pressure is 55. Now the average blood sugar level should be about 70 to 130 milligrams, but in this case, it's 55. I will get you a drink, okay? I'll be right back. A few moments later. Drink this and you'll feel better. Uh, step four, um, get some carbs into your body. Uh, as you can see in the video, um, I'm using um, Crush as an example because it has a lot of sugar and some carbs in it. Um, examples of other carbs are five or six pieces of hard candy, four teaspoons of sugar, half cup of fruit juice or regular soda, which is the Crush I'm using, and... Um, Maybe a cup of milk. It could work. So um, those are some examples, and feel free to use them. Just get anything that has a lot of carbs or sugar. Can we give you ten minutes? Ten minutes late there. <laughs> Step five. After waiting ten to fifteen minutes, um, test your blood sugar level again because. If it's still below 70 milligrams or lower, um, you should probably eat more. Yeah, eat more. Just not too much. Just eat a little bit more. Some moments later. It's 75. Do you feel better? Yeah, a little bit. Good job. <laughs> Step 6. If your body doesn't respond, seek medical help. Um, if your blood sugar level does not go up for some reason, call 911. That is all I have to say.